So, to actually go ahead and start off with this glitch, all you guys are going to do is just go ahead and steal any street car off the street. So boom, just like that, I just, I just actually stole some random street car off the street. And after you guys actually got any street car off the street, all you guys are going to do is just make your way over to any garage that you guys do own. And in that garage, all you guys are going to do is just make sure that you guys have any car in there. Both basically, I do actually recommend having your most expensive car in the garage. But in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and use my LG Retro Custom. But yeah, basically, what you guys are going to do is just go ahead and like use your most expensive car or any car you guys want to. But yeah, this actually go ahead and drive uh, the street car you guys just saw. And go ahead and drive it into like your garage that doesn't actually have the car that is actually pretty expensive that you guys do own so basically right now i'm actually making my way over to my eclipse tower's penthouse garage and if you guys look at the gameplay i'm already right next to it so yeah we're just gonna go up here real quick and we're just gonna be going in the garage real quick so yeah just let me go up here real quick uh, okay we're just gonna crash into that real quick but yeah we're gonna go up here real quick we're gonna turn right here i'm gonna drive right in the garage just like that Once you guys are inside of the garage with the streetcar you guys did steal, all you guys are going to do from here is just go ahead and go to a blue circle and from here make sure that, that the streetcar is in the first slot and then make sure that your car that is expensive is in the second slot just like that. So make sure your garage is laid out like that where the expensive car is in the second slot and your uh, streetcar is in the first slot. Anyway, from here, go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, go to the spawn location, and you guys are gonna set your spawn location to last location, just like that. From here, go back to your uh, blue circle and go ahead and switch your LG Retro Custom with the street car once, and then from here, go ahead and go over to go over to the expensive car that you guys need to switch around, go ahead and get in it, and from here, you guys are gonna drive it off to the garage, just like that. Once you guys are outside, all you guys are going to do is just go to make your way over to Lost Sons Customs. So you guys want to make your way over to any Lost Sons Customs shop. So I'm going to be making my way down there real quick right now. So I'm just going to be heading down there real quick. We're going to go down here. We're going to turn left here. And yeah, good to ask you to see if you guys look at the gameplay. I'm actually right next to Lost Sons Customs already, just like that. So yeah, we're going to turn right here. And then we're going to go ahead and turn left here. We're going to go down here. Anyway, now once you guys are here in the parking lot of the Lost Sons Customs, all you guys are going to do is just go ahead and use the car there in the parking lot, then get out the car and pull out some sticky bombs, and you guys want to go ahead and pull some sticky bombs exactly where I do put mine. So go ahead and put some sticky bombs on the door or on the ground next to the door, just like that, like I did. Anyway, after you guys have put at least three sticky bombs where I did, just go ahead and get back in the car. And from here, what you guys are going to do is just park your car exactly like I do. So you guys want to go ahead and make sure your front tires are like inside, kind of, as you can see. But make sure everything else is actually outside, just like that. But yeah, anyway, from here, uh, all you guys are going to do is just get out the car. And from here, you guys want to go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, go down the vehicles. And go ahead and make sure you open all the doors. And then go down the vehicle remote functions and make sure you guys actually turn on the engine. And after you guys actually turn on the engine, what you guys are going to do from here is just go ahead and steal any other street car, okay? So steal any other street car, just like that, I just stole that. And then from here, it's going to make your way back over to the garage. So make sure you guys do not drive in to the garage with the street car that you guys are in right now. But instead, what you guys are going to do is just go ahead and leave the street car outside. So, I'm just gonna go to head back over to my Eclipse Tower spent house. Now, obviously, that is not gonna take a long time if you guys look at the gameplay. And I'm gonna be speeding it up. So, yeah, I'm gonna arrive here in just a second. We're gonna go up here and boom. You guys wanna go ahead and leave the car right there. And just go ahead and walk in. Or just run into your garage real quick. So, go ahead and just walk into your garage real quick. And yeah. Anyway, once you guys are inside of your garage, all you guys are gonna do from here. You guys are gonna want to make your way over to like your uh, blue circle that you guys do have in the garage and you guys want to switch the street car with the expensive car once again so now your uh, street car should be in the first slot anyway from here go ahead and over go over to the garage door and what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to, want to go ahead and exit the garage real quick so yeah you guys are just going to, want to go ahead and exit the garage real quick and 
walk out the garage. And once you guys are here, all you guys are going to do is just go ahead and get back into a screen turn that you guys did steal that is outside. And from here, make your way back over to Lawson's custom shop. Now from here, what you guys are going to do is, when you guys arrive here, leave the streetcar in the parking lot. And now you guys should see that you, uh, your expensive car should actually, should actually be glitched out in the door, just like that. Anyway, basically, uh, now once your uh, like expensive car is glitched out in the door like that, go ahead and get back in it. And now you guys should see your uh, uh, car just glitch out a little bit. So after your car just glitch out a little bit, wait for around 5 seconds like I did. And after you guys do wait for around 5 seconds, go ahead and blow the sticky bombs up, and now your car should get destroyed. Anyway, from here, go ahead and pull up your phone, go down to your contacts, and you guys are just gonna want to go ahead and call up your mechanic. And from here, you guys are just gonna want to request the street car from your mechanic. After your mechanic does actually deliver it, you guys will go over to Lost Sons Customs, and you should go ahead and enter Lost Sons Customs with the car. Inside of Lost Sons Customs, you guys want to go all the way down the plates and go ahead and uh, change the color on the plate. From here, go down to sell, then click on sell vehicle. And now it will actually say, are you guys sure you want to sell the vehicle? So once it does actually say that, what you guys are going to do is just press options, go down to online, and just go down to creator, and go ahead and wait until you guys do load into creator. Now as you guys do know, loading into a creator does not take a long time at all. It literally only takes like 10 seconds or even less than that. If you guys look at the gameplay, I'm loading into it right now. Boom, we're about to load in. Uh, boom. So once you guys do load into creator, all you guys are going to do is just press options, then go down to mine, go down to play GTA mine, and just go down to invite only session, and you guys are going to start up an invite only session, and now you guys will load into an invite only session, so go ahead and wait until you guys do load into an invite only session. Once you guys do load into an invite only session, you guys will actually see that you guys will spawn next to the customs with your street car next to you. So at this point go ahead and get in your uh, street car and from here make your way back over to the garage that you guys are doing the glitch in. So go ahead and drive back over to your garage real quick and once you guys are in, back in the garage, all you guys are going to do is just go to a blue circle, switch your expensive car with the street car and from here once you guys have done that, pull up your phone, go down to your contacts and you guys are going to call up most mutual insurance. After you guys do call them up, you guys want to go ahead and get your expensive car back and it might be quite expensive but do not worry guys you guys will definitely be getting all your money back with this glitch so do not worry about any expenses or costs that you guys may need to pay during this glitch it's all okay and you guys will definitely get it back by doing this glitch so it's all okay anyway after you guys do get your LG or I mean your uh, expensive car back from Rose Mutual Insurance go ahead and get in the street car and go ahead and drive outside once you guys are outside go ahead and pull up your phone and basically go to your job list and you guys should see the blue circle next to your garage does actually disappear so go ahead and put your uh, drive your car right on top of the blue circle just like that then get out the car and back out from your phone and just go ahead and enter the garage on foot just like that so now your street car should actually be hovering over the blue circle to actually enter your garage from here go back in the garage go to the blue circle switch your uh, street car with the expensive car once again and run back outside. Once you guys are outside, go ahead and put a sticky bomb on the door, just like that. Go back to your job list on your phone, then go ahead and get in the car and back out from the job list. Now you guys want to press right on the d-pad once and then press left on the d-pad to detonate the sticky bomb and now you guys will blow up. So go ahead and wait until you guys do respawn. And at this point, you guys want to steal any other street car and just go ahead and drive into a blue circle with the other street car and drive it into a garage. Once you guys are inside of the garage, you guys want to go ahead and switch the uh, street car with the expensive car. And now boom, you guys are done with the glitch and you guys will have glitched the price of the expensive car onto your street car that you guys did just drive in. So yeah, at this point, what you guys are going to do is just go and get in the street car that you guys just drove in. And from here, make your way over to Lost Sons Customs. So yeah, I'm going to be making my way down there real quick right now. And of course, I am going to be spitting out the footage of me actually driving there. But yeah, if you guys see the gameplay, I'm already like almost there. So yeah, while I'm actually driving over there, make sure you guys go and drop a like on the video right now. But anyway, we're just actually going to go to the left here to go into the parking lot. And now, once you guys are here inside of uh, Lost Sons Customs, just go ahead and drive in real quick. 
and from here repair your vehicle if you guys do need to but anyway from here just go ahead and go down to the cell so we're gonna go down the cell and boom as you can see you guys will have glitched the price of the expensive car onto your street car so boom you guys can do this glitch right now and get millions of dollars in GTA 5 line. So make sure you guys go and drop a like on the video right now and also subscribe to the channel with post notifications on if you guys are new. But yeah guys, my name has been RoughHD and I'm out. Peace.